hello 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 everyone welcome back to the channel i hope everybody is doing very well this is going to be for scorpio scorpios hi how are you <laughs> all right scorpio we're going to tap into a next 24 hours is it the next 24 let me see let me check with y'all scorpio because I think I did a video earlier for you guys today. Yes, I sure did. Um, so, where is it? I'm trying to wait here. Okay, so we're going to do a no contact read for you, Scorpios, and see what we have for you. So, a no contact read, the person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you. The reading that I did earlier was an energy poll. So, let's tap into the no contact read. You see, it's good to check. <laughs> it's good to check, y'all. Okay, so let's just see here. Um, know that this is a general read, not a personal one. So it's not going to resonate with every Scorpio every time. So if it does resonate, take what resonates with you and throw out the rest, okay? For those of you who are looking for personal reads we still do have the $45 package available which is for 10 minutes the $55 which is 15 minutes available until the th the first of June okay the first of June is the cut off date you have until the 31st of May to book okay um yeah and then uh, my deck is also on sale until July 21st okay it is $45 that shipping is included as well. So if you guys want a copy of my beautiful divine spiritual deck, go ahead and send me an email at the scene at gmail.com. All right, but if you are out of the country, keep in mind that shipping will be different for you. So please contact me before sending your payment for your deck. All right. <clears throat> okay so let's just see what we have here thank you holy spirit what is the energy of this no contact the energy of this no contact read the person that scorpio is thinking about the person that's thinking about scorpio what is the energy of this no contact let's see we have the four of swords here okay that's your first card the empress okay so this is someone that tried to be like you or tried to live off of you or try to steal your ideas um i'm also getting the king of wands here as well for your first three cards so tell me more holy spirit virgo energy is a major arcana We have the emperor so this <laughs> wow so this person that's coming up is someone that you really thought that was the right match for you you have the emperor energy the empress energy the empress energy is in reverse here so this person was an actor they appeared on the outside to be everything that you wanted i'm also seeing some kind of juggling or some kind of double life that they might have been living I'm also seeing like they haven't made any changes with this situation. This is still coming up as the present, okay? <sighs> so you're all about success here. It's like this person was trying to reach you but couldn't because you see those little this people on the bottom and then you are on this throne. It seems like you're so far away. And I'm also seeing the contract here, with, which is still in the upright, the Six of Cups energy. Um, so I'm seeing that you're being pulled back together here, okay? So you have Aries energy, Virgo energy is Major Arcana. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ooh, the Two of Cups in reverse. So the contract is still in the upright, but the two of cups is still in, well, the two of cups is in reverse here. So this is a separation confirmed. 
the break however i'm seeing that this is lifted so it's going to be an opportunity of communication coming in for you and this person i'm seeing like this person wants to be with you because you still have this uh queen of cups energy okay or this could be you we're gonna get into their energy and see what's what but i'm seeing this queen of cups here cancer energy here like you just this security this feeling of security within this 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 person something about this it's like you want this within your relationship because you guys are in some form of separation yeah you're ready you're ready for love you're ready for a real connection here you're ready for your cup to overflow you're ready to expand your family um and this person is scaring you <laughs> because they're making all the wrong mistakes here they're showing up as someone that you thought they were so a lot of you thought this was your soulmate which they are but this is a karmic partnership within this life right now okay we also have yeah this is fate this is faded um so you're going through some kind of balance some kind of karmic energy and i feel like this is actually played out because you have the wheel of fortune in the upright so all is good now like you needed to experience this with this person because it seems like you did this to this person in a past life so it just needed to be balanced out here we have the five of cups energy we have the death as well within scorpio so scorpio you're showing up as you haven't moved on from this connection you know you are feeling hurt disappointed within this five here but you haven't moved on this transition is real but you haven't moved on it's like you're still dealing with the fact of being emotionally abused or emotionally drained going through some kind of low vibration like this is where you are right now within your feelings you're in your feelings about this with the five of cups and you want to process that you don't want to be rushed out of that energy wow the sun is also a factor here i'm seeing the chariot as well so it's like this person wants to play game because they want to be a child but um i'm also seeing like this person coming back this is cancer vibes you guys cancer vibes in the queen it's funny you have cancer vibes everywhere cancer vibes in the two of cups in reverse you have cancer vibes in the queen of cups plus you have it within the chariot and the chariot is in the upright so this person is they're no they know where what they want they know where they're going I'm also seeing the high front here. There's some kind of codependency or some kind of push um, with maybe their siblings or maybe their sisters, their brothers, um, their friends. They just don't like friends from the past. Their their childhood. These are people from their childhood. These are people that was. It just felt very genuine when their relationship started. It was very natural. Um, it was enforced it was just it, it was is it is you know and I feel like they're being um, challenged within whatever decisions that they're making this is very hard because they're already codependent here and now I'm seeing here so they're gonna codependent on a, a Taurus energy an older person or a Virgo energy this could be a motherly figure but there is sun here so when it comes to you that's their happiness that's where they want to be that's the decision that they've made within number 21 within the sun all right and yeah this person thinks of you as light energy positive energy Just tell me more so there is a third party situation for the chariot to be here i should have knew it because it's like you're questioning the security of the relationship but this person is making their way to you and then we have the lovers here gemini's energy we also have the ten of cups here 
and then we have the ace of swords so clearly this is an energy of like there is something is not ready here yet something is not ready here yet like when it comes to the truth when it comes to a breakthrough when it comes to light energy there is something still stuck or being um kept or blocked uh i'm looking at this and this person wants a future but it seems like they're still sleeping with this gemini energy for those of you okay because the gemini energy is in the upright and the two of cups water-based energy is in reverse in scorpio this is a no contact read so obviously you're the two of cups here so there's someone here that they can't seem to stop seeing look at this the three of swords this is crazy this is a third party situation i've been getting third party situation for a while <laughs> every time i pull it up all right the king of pentacles i think the times are just changing you guys and everybody's just for not everybody but a lot of people are just like really forgetting what a relationship means and what it stands for here all right so tell me more holy spirit so we have the knight of wands so you have the three of swords the king of pentacles and knight of wands energy i feel like there's a lot of security here um there is a lot of long-term security not just short term um it seems that you're shown up as this king of pentacles which you need to definitely be careful because you're shown up as a masculine um you're shown up as the person with the king of wands the emperor the king of pentacles you know this strong energy within this read and you and you're very open to something you're open to share your wealth you're open to build and i feel like the person that you're with is someone quite young um or someone that is just needs some time to grow up you have the five of swords so this person did everything to you under the sun and then you have this positive vibe with this magician um so there's a lot of positivity coming back into this and there is a moving forward within the six of swords so you have the five of swords six of swords energy and the five of swords is in reverse as well so this person wants to resolve that that conflict with you of making you feel like you know what they betrayed you or they were dishonest to you um they were wearing a mask even scammed you and this has been going on for quite a while for those of you with the three of wands this person is waking up this is what i'm seeing because they're trying to figure out what to do here it's been a long time they felt this way but there is no new idea or perspective or direction what is this hiding under here wow the seven of swords every lie is to the surface within the future energy every lie is in the is, is coming out in the future so right now in the present moment you need the clarity and you don't have the clarity that's what this is all right so i'm just trying to see what this energy is for you what is the energy here between this person and scorpio Holy Spirit, thank you. Ooh, it says new love here for those of you. I feel like you're going to be receiving new love. New love is going to be a factor with this. A lot of you are starting to call in your soulmate. But a lot of you are going through some kind of karmic partnership right here. Um, this could even be your soulmate in reverse. Okay okay love yourself first before you can love someone someone else 
that is also coming up keep in mind whatever this person is going back and forth with i'm not seeing like a choice i'm not seeing like they're deciding it's like they're just coming towards you okay let me just get these cards out of the way i want to tap into this person i have this urge to do that to tap into their energy i'm gonna use a different deck as well all right so put this right here for now all right so what is going on holy spirit with this person's energy for scorpio solo please. what is going on for this person's energy solo Thank you. What's going on for this person's energy? For Scorpio. No contact read. Okay, so let's see. Page of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups. Again, you know, this person is just bringing up like they want a future here, but they don't have any new ideas or perspective to come towards you to work something out here. Let's see, tell me more. You have the King of Swords. So conversation is going to be a big factor for you in this energy. Conversation is a big factor here. I'm also seeing the tower energy. So this person wants to communicate. This person wants to come back. This person was the queen of um, cups energy. So there's a cancer vibes around you or a Scorpio or Aries. Or this could be a cancer sun perhaps or not a cancer sun, a cancer moon. Um, it could be a Cancer Sun. <clears throat> Aquarius as well is also being a factor here. Or beneficial. We also have Pisces. Within the Eight of Cups. It's like they're leaving something behind. What are they leaving behind? Divine God, what are they leaving behind in this energy? What are they leaving behind? The past, all the trials and tribulations, um, everything that they ever went through. This is from childhood. This is the disappointments. They're just leaving this behind here. They're choosing to forgive, to let go, to move on from that energy. Let me take this off. Tell me more. Well, they're choosing the sun. They're choosing their happiness. They're choosing their youth their joy, their fulfillment. They're choosing you within the sun. There's an incompletion here as well within the world. So it's not yet over yet. And I feel like with this world, most likely you're gonna be dealing with the same things that you have been dealing with with this person when you guys broke up or split or blocked each other because this person could have ghosted you or you could have ghosted them. Um, but either way, they're talking about coming back here and rebuild. There is a lot of things that is holding this person down. They don't see things clearly here. They can't. I feel like they're manipulative. Not Well, they're, they're manipulative, but they've been manipulated as well. There is someone around them that is like manipulating them, telling them what, what they want them to know. Um pretty stuck within this energy but i feel like this person wants to tell you this and communicate this to you because you have this king this king of 
swords energy a huge force of energy of just crown chakra activity just you know a lot of authority as well like this person wants to make this happen within this energy so if they're in with if they're in this energy they're likely going to make it happen all right so tell me more tell me more please spirit we have the queen of wands we have the hermit and we have the four of cups okay so you have the queen of wands and we have the hermit we have the four of cups i'm just seeing like they're looking at you as someone that is definitely challenging um, and it seems like you're backing away from this relationship because they are in and out. Something about this person. I have to clarify this and see why this person is not trying to give you what you want right. Like in that moment, in that energy um, of the past or they're just showing up as this being the present situation still too. So tell me about this Four of Cups. And I'm seeing like you took this opportunity to just do your thing because they're looking at you as like backing away from this there's no trust here <laughs> there's no trust so they're saying that you don't trust them why tell me about this this fool's energy the ace of wands Ace of Wands, something happened very quickly here. This could be new life, this could be a baby. Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're going, yeah, like you found out some kind of news from this, about the situation very quickly that you just don't trust this person. I am feeling like this is about, you know, the scandal. <clears throat> Tell me about this page of uh, pentacles. Why this person was moving very slowly. The eight of wands in reverse here. The knight of cups in reverse. Oh wow, something dramatically changed within this person. It's like this person energy changed very quickly. You found out some news about what this person was really about, which made you not trust them anymore. And it's crazy because earlier we had that energy of the Five of Swords and the communication. Like they want to talk about the deceit, lies, and betrayal that they have placed within your life as well. Okay? And I feel like that's the message that they're talking about here. And then they're in and out of your life. Like, they're not coming off as someone that is consistent. Like, you can't trust this person because, look, you're saying it right here. Because like, I clarified the four. And you're basically saying that there's no trust because this person is not consistent. Like, you don't trust them within the four of cups. Like you're so over this and you want something new, you want progress, you know, you want to see your relationship go to the next level. And it seems like you're stuck into this, this situation and they're very happy and they can stay here and within this situation. If you're not standing up for yourself and talking up for yourself, they wouldn't move. <laughs> Yeah, this person is still juggling. I keep getting this juggling energy and they need to make a decision. And it seems like they're telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a decision. I'm waiting for something to happen. But at the same time, this person is indecisive. Um, you're showing up as this beautiful energy of like a mother or a father, like someone that takes care of their situation, their life. Like you don't, they don't have to worry about you and what you got going on. They know that if they wanted you to do something for them, like you will do it. And they don't have to ask you like if you got that done. Like they just know that you, that's the kind of person that you are. But the Four of Pentacles, um, 
I'm seeing like they were saying like you let go of them. There was a let go energy here. You chose the best option for you and that was your family. That was you. It's like you didn't break the bridge. They're still around. But it's like you're not entertaining this either. And this person seemed to be where you left them within this two of pentacles energy. Like if they haven't made that decision yet. And I'm seeing like they're making a decision to come towards you to kind of solve this. But they're not, they're not in good conscience because I'm seeing like the seven of wands, which is very difficult and challenging. Because they're having a lot of challenging times or going through a lot of challenging times right now. And something about this person is like they're still hiding something. They're still hiding something in the Seven of Wands and they have the Two of Pentacles. They like they want to get away with it. But yet they want to fix whatever they got going on with you. Okay. <laughs> on the back of the deck you do have the Fool. So the future energy is looking like this is a cycle. Like you guys tend to jump into this over and over again. Can I have one more card please, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides? <clears throat> One more card. Let's see. Okay, so we have you deserve love. Sag energy. That bow right there. Valentine's Day. Cupid. <laughs> the angels are around watching this. Who's the match? Who's the match? Like you deserve love. So there's other choices that are gonna come towards you a lot of you are like oh am i gonna am i gonna receive another relationship soon am i gonna meet someone else and the angels are letting you know that you are lovable so yes all right so can i see the energy please? the spirit energies around scorpio let's see Ooh. all right you have the dog wow loyal t best friend vibes like i don't feel like whatever this person did like you are going to you know not talk to them forever you friends friendship is some that means a lot to you loyalty means a lot to you but you are scorpio so that's not surprising. I'm also seeing this powerful energy here within a tiger. Okay. I feel like you're on your way to find out something. You just want to have the clarity. You want to figure everything out within this tiger. And it's like you're coming back to something as well. The tiger also reminds me of the chariot in some ways. Okay. Like there was a journey that you had to take but i'm also seeing like you're coming back home to something this could be where you lived before you could be moving as well within the seven of wands the seven of swords energy that we saw early and you're preparing yourself for this you're preparing yourself for this you have a lot of people that can help you or you have the resources that you're finally like really getting a hold of if you haven't think that you didn't have resources this starts you know expressing what you want in within this world and things start happening for you or people start coming to you and sharing you know situations like you know ideas and things that might be in the motion to help other people what you want as well um but i'm seeing like you have the resources here on the back of the deck you do have people watching you though um it's like they're waiting for you to they're waiting for you to mess up i just feel like this person is waiting for you to mess up this is magic and destiny here but i just feel like every time i see this raven energy these birds usually come in when everything is done everything is the 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 accident already happened the mistake have taken place and they come in to clean up the evidence or eat up the evidence or whatever you want to say but 
you're being watched within this energy so be careful you guys okay and they might seem like they want to help but i'm just getting like watch out for that watch out for that energy all right so let's see can i have clarity on the page of wands please holy spirit you have the high priestess again you know intuition here is out of whack they're saying that you're not too high priestess like you're all over the place here um like you're doing your own in in investigation and they know that you're trying to find out what needs to be found out just like within tiger you are on a journey for something and you are very patient or you seem very patient and very quiet about this but you are in your highest power so something about the truth that you are on the search for tell me about this world energy in reverse the page of swords so this person is going to come in and have a new form of idea so they're going to come in and try to make this happen but within the idea i'm just seeing like this energy is like it's all about me though like i want to work with you but it's going to be my idea it's going to be my outfit it's going to be my name on the dotted line my face of the company but i want to help you out though <laughs> i'm gonna you know <clears throat> create the ideas for you um and also yeah but i need your money <laughs> i just feel like this person is coming in with a new form of way right but it's like it's a very selfish kind of way tell me about this four of pentacles you have the sun energy in reverse so you it's crazy how you have the sun here well, they do, which they look at you as the sun. But when you left them, because they're saying that you gave up on them, you moved on um, within the Four of Pentacles because of selfishness and their sun was in reverse here after that. So they weren't quite the same. <laughs> All right, tell me about this Two of Swords. You have the Empress in reverse. So in this no contact, this person is a user or they kind of looking like they're very lazy, want to live off of you because you're showing up as a queen. You're showing up as a secure energy. You're showing up as a powerful energy here. This person is showing up as someone that is very lazy and not that they don't have money, but why should I try if you're going to do everything for me? Tell me about this tower. Like, this person is pretty comfortable where they're at. They don't want to progress. And then you have the King of Pentacles here as well. So this person was hiding too. Or trying to avoid or trying to act fake busy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. They were acting like they were masculine, but they weren't. They made you feel like so insecure within this relationship. This is not what you wanted to feel like within this connection. It's like you're still there too within this five of cups. I don't see like you're given this, like they're just even looking at you as someone that is not moving on, even though you moved on physically within well should i say yeah physically within your money and your stability with helping this person you are not moved but on by the heart the heart is still struggling here okay that's what i'm seeing here okay well that's the only cards in reverse so let's just tap into their feelings and see what we can get Spirit. Let's see. Just want to tap into their feelings for you and see. Okay, 
So let's see what we have. <clears throat> What's this person's feelings for Scorpio? Holy Spirit. What's this person's feelings for Scorpio? <laughs> wow. So you have the Three of Wands here. They were very attracted to you, Scorpios. They're saying that something is missing or something been off within your relationship. Because you have the three of wands here, you have the lovers, and you have the five of pentacles in reverse. It's like they're, I'm seeing like they're going to call you very soon. Like they're going to call you very soon here. They've been like thinking about you, <laughs> okay, and watching you also. They're very tempted of you. For those of you, Scorpio, that have Gemini within your chart, you probably have one of your homes, but or you are Gemini moon or rising, but something about you, you know, it doesn't even have to be the element, it's just the passion of how they feel for you. They're attracted to you. Um, they miss you physically and this could be a problem as well because you need to make sure that you're communicating and not just jumping into bed with with when with with this person once they come in um you have to talk to this person because this person is looking at you as is in like a passion energy and they're seeing like the they because i'm seeing like the same person abandon you they have the three of uh Okay, they have the three of wands here, and then they have the five of pentacles, and I'm seeing the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? And I'm seeing that the three of pen the three of wands, they're looking out and watching how they that you have brought your life up out of whatever they have left left you in okay because it seems like this person have left you in this situation and they have brought your life like you have brought yourself out of this hardship out of this financial hardship and they have been watching your journey and now this person is trying to figure out like how to get back um to this situation here okay after the fact because this five of pentacles could also be that they left you for someone else because it has three ones here they left you for someone else left you to fed for yourself and now they're looking back thinking about you a lot this could be a gemini for some of you tell me about this three of wands three of wands energy you have the Ten of Wands energy. Ooh. Okay. Um, they're coming back with a lot of burden, too. Like, nothing have really changed with this person. No change. Oh, my. The Eight of Pentacles, not better in themselves, not better in their skills. They're in a loss of skills, a loss of words. They don't even know what to, to say right now. Tell me about this lover's. Holy Spirit, tell me about this lover's energy. You have the two of pentacles. So they were juggling you with this situation. And I feel like they're overwhelmed now. And they know that they need to make a decision. Did they make the decision? Holy Spirit, what's this two of pentacles? Seems like they do need to make one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this, the magician. Gemini and Virgo coming through here. Major Arcana. So it's like they're leaving it into this universe, the universe's hands. 
and they're praying hoping for something to happen here that is built of positivity because they are not happy within the sun with this situation since you guys haven't been together tell me about this five of pentacles energy five of pentacles energy um i also want to announce you guys that i will be opening well i opened a discord account um but i feel like we're just gonna do well let me tell you let me just finish this because we're almost done here we have the king of wands Yeah, this person was someone that was immature. This person made a mistake here. They're letting me know poor choices. And the, and the King of Wands energy in reverse. They want to come in and give you stability. You see what I'm saying? The Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands. They did this. You have the regret on the back of the deck. Like, they regret this. They regret the Eight of Cups. They regret, like, 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 like walking away and making this decision. It's not greener on the other side. I'm just getting an energy that is not greener on the other side, uh, Scorpio, for this no contact energy. But if this does resonate, you guys, go ahead and like the video here on the YT. Um, if you don't um, resonate with this, don't worry about it. It's just a general. It's not going to resonate for everyone every time. Keep that in mind, you guys. If you want to personal with me, everything will be in the description box. Now, I am going to do a Discord uh, channel, you guys. But what I'm going to do is do um the the readings that i feel like people watch but i'm just gonna like switch it up a little bit over here because i feel like we could do the no contact read over here we could do the the energy pull over here but like readings that i really don't do and maybe that you want to see that could be over there and i'm just gonna do because it's a membership thing you guys so it's just gonna be the lowest one ever and i feel like that should be five dollars a month if you guys are interested in that i would just hey i would just put it in the description box and you guys can go over there and whatever but it's not going to be in this video because i have to make sure i understand that it seems so complicated and um yeah <laughs> so i just want to get over there and have my channel over there and stuff i already created the channel it's called the scene tarot it's the same name as the channel the scene tarot so if you guys do have discord you can go over there and check it out i didn't put anything up but i am over there okay all right so i'll see you guys in a few i think i think this should be it or another video tonight we'll see but this is it for now this is the no contact read i love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys <laughs>